Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Athena and I create videos related to motherhood and fashion for curvy girls. I post videos every Monday and Friday unless something else something happens and you know and uh, and yeah if you're interested in this kind of content stick with me meet my daughter can you just sit here yeah no she can't anyway um before I start with the video please like this video subscribe to my channel share this video and press the notification button so you get notified every time I post a video did you just say video? Did you just say video? Are you sure enough? Anyway, <laughs> in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different, you know. I thought, why not? Um, I want to react to some memes that are on Twitter uh, for about Love is Blind. If you... You scratched me. If you don't know what Love is Blind is, it's a uh, reality show that's on Netflix and basically random people go to this place where they meet, um, you know, other people and, um, I mean, girls will meet boys in it and they don't see them at all so they just get to know each other and they have a war between them they enter two separate rooms there's a wall between them speaker so that's how they communicate with each other and at the end usually the man will, pro 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 will propose to the lady all these people that would date each other you know and and see who they like the most and at the end you know someone will pop the question to the person they they mostly fall in love with or get to to love them and and yeah and then after they propose to each other before seeing them you know before seeing each other then that's the moment where they meet each other in person and then they will get to know each other for like I think it's like a month before they actually get married I don't know if you can meet someone within 30 days and really get to know the person you know sometimes you need years to meet to get to know someone but anyway yeah i just wanted to react to some memes i saw on twitter and i thought they were hilarious and i'm talking about it love is blind season two um yeah there was season one i watched that i also watched love is blind brazil that's another one i liked and also i want to make my pre predictions at the end you know which because on friday that's the episode when the couples will you know actually get married and say yes or no to their other half so we don't know who's gonna say yes or no and um yeah i'm just gonna predict which couples are going to actually get married at the end who is gonna say yes who's gonna say no at the end yeah without further ado let me find those tweets yeah, first meme. Obviously, I'm gonna have the picture. You just sit here. here. Okay, my toes have never killed as much as why I saw watching this conversation. When I say I gasped several times, love is blind. You know, the parent of that girl, I don't remember, Shina, Shina, whatever her name was. And she was very religious. She took the guy to her parents house you know the guy is an atheist atheist yeah atheist he doesn't believe in god so they were asking him questions and they asked him are you a man of god and he said no so you see all these you know judgmental you know looks from her parents or whatever her siblings so next meme me trying to see what natalie from love is blind seems in shame that's so true I really wonder like I have the same question to be honest because that guy like I saw a comment somewhere and just it's so true this guy is like an adult child like like seriously and the way he behaves he doesn't want to own up to his uh, own mistakes 
and he kind of blames the girl guy he's like a big kid he's always laughing so loudly and he's so it's too much too playful and all that i just cannot stand this kind of people I, he's not even cute like he's not even cute he has this big this weird mouth or i don't know i don't i don't like him at all and yeah what did she see in him because she's quite humble and quiet and it's more much more mature i don't think she is she's much more mature than him <laughs> Nick on his way to start some shit at every cast reunion. Yeah, that's true. He appeared to me that he was a bit, you know, the first um, night of them uh, at Mexico where all the couples met together. So he will go and talk with his partner and say, oh, you know, this couple is like this, this couple is like that. So he always had something to say about everyone. So yeah, that's why this meme is so, you know, relevant. At first, them two look like the perfect couple but then you know that girl his partner Danielle she just I don't know she just kept arguing with him for no reason like literally no reason so yeah at first they looked the perfect couple but now I'm not even sure that the guy's gonna say yeah, yes because that's where the previous episode ended where you know they asked him so would you take you know her as your wife whatever and the cut is just there so we don't know what the guy will say i think he's gonna say no so yeah that's one of my predictions i think nick will say no and i also think that natalie will also say no because we see he, we see them on the, we see them uh, fighting you know when they show you know clips of the of the episodes they show them uh, arguing so i think she's gonna realize that I deserve much better than this guy. This is like a big kid to me. Like, we needed any more evidence that Shane from Love is Blind is a ginormous man child. What was I saying? Is that he requested pizza, hot dogs, and mac and cheese at his wedding? That's so true. Like, yeah, so true. Because they were discussing about the wedding, what foods they should have, and he said, oh, we should have mac and cheese, hot dogs, and all that for the kids. But yeah i'm sure it's for him he's a big guy it looks like he eats everything but yeah anyway shake's mom said she's team dipti is it dipti is it i don't remember that girl's name exactly how to say it and proceeded to eat him up yeah so yeah basically his mom yeah so basically uh you know this indian couple so the guy will always say that she doesn't feel he doesn't feel this physical attraction so he hasn't even had sex with her but the his mom is actually she was saying that you know like um the girl is i, I don't remember exactly what she said but she made this sound that she deserves more she deserves someone that because the guy expressed his concerns with his mom so she was actually supporting her she thought that you know that that's wrong and that you know the guy should not be feeling this way towards her and, and that she deserves more so so yeah i mean physical attraction between a couple is an important aspect of the relationship so yeah okay next one love is blind season two helping me realize that possibly the worst nightmare situation is a man who loves me unconditionally simply not knowing when to put down the ukulele okay ukulele is like an instrument it's the instrument that one guy was using to play to the other girl so he would you know sing serenades for the girl so and he wouldn't stop so i think yeah that's what they're saying also third prediction uh dp and shake so his name yeah i think the girl will say no because she knows her worth she doesn't want someone that does not feel attracted to her i mean what the hell you know okay there is a picture <laughs> the way i thought shake's family home was on fire you can see the picture through the window i mean it's um yeah and it looks like it's like the house on fire how every time shina started being shaky and weird as as hell you know what i'm gonna start dating her even harder yeah because this guy this girl she was 
pretty much telling him that you know we should don't be together like I think she didn't really like him like physically when they when she met him but she was saying that oh because you are you are not you don't believe in God and I do that's very important to me and blah 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 and the guy was willing to even study the Bible and all that and and, and yeah and but he, and he wouldn't give up that's why they've got this meme it's so true Ayana, Dipti and Savado all deserve better yeah that's true so Salvador is the um, fiance of the girl. What's her name? What is it? Mallory. Mal Mallory. Yeah, Mallory. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm not sure about that couple. Cause Mallory, she also said that that's not really her type. And what do you guys think? Do you think they're gonna say yes to each other? I think she's. I don't know. I I, I really don't know. I think she might say no the guy will say yes because the guy is very lovely like seriously okay next meme i was hoping for more cameron and lauren love stories this season but it's look it looks like we are getting damian and ja janina okay so come cameron and lauren if you don't know it's from the first season they got together and they are still madly in love with each other they sit together they they have achieved so many things together Damian and Janina had a very toxic relationship from the first season so yeah pretty much that's what we're getting we don't get someone that is perfect I think okay the next meme not Daniel's own brother asking how she sexually active her and Nick are I can't get this meme what does it mean you guys should comment down below because I don't I can't get that I don't get it I don't get it Kyle on love is blind after his fiance was has him break his bed to sleep in separate beds set the defunct theory and evolution are made up and goes to bed at 7 40 to get away from him i'm very lucky yeah that's so true like the girl was giving you all the signs that she doesn't really want you but you're still feeling oh you know we can't do this what about that my daughter she's trying some dangerous stuff anyway um next meme love is blind season three needs to secretly match these people up with therapists instead that's so true because you know some people they go there looking for their other half thinking that that this person is going to complete them as people but you should you should know that before you you know love someone else first you need to deal with your own issues and love yourself first you know um, for this video of someone like just having there with no one with the air with you know ghost and it says daniel creating relationship issues out of thin air that's so true that, that daniel is the uh, is nick's partner isn't it? and this girl man she's so insecure I'm, i mean you can see that because she's talking about body issues that she used to have in the past and how she felt about it and that she lost weight but the insecurity is still there she gets paranoid with everything that the guy does like okay i had to change location because my daughter is playing um okay next meme shane and natalie are like the only couple that seem fully committed to each other i didn't expect that i don't agree with that but we shall see sorry but i got the ick with nick the minute he walked out his home brew toothpaste oh yeah there was this episode that you know this guy is making his own toothpaste like yeah nick blings danielle and i took that personally that's so true this girl she takes everything she's so paranoid so suspicious obviously she has some trust issues you know that's your chance to you have to let all that go you need to be secure in yourself you need to be secure enough to say oh this guy loves me he won't disappoint me he won't disappoint me but even if he does you're gonna be like you know what he's just not good for me i deserve much better um, every time nick breathes <laughs> Daniel's like, I don't know, like, the way the air is coming in and out your nose. It's making me feel like you don't love me. It's so funny, actually. 
the exact moment Shane realized he dodged a bullet his face I knew something looked familiar oh my god that is so true they look similar and she was doing all that with her lips all the time like you know resting beach face kind of to be honest i never left my cameron hamilton era last year so that's the couple from the first season again yeah we can't get over that they are so cute together and it's amazing how things worked out for them i'm still mad that ayana was jared's second choice i know so that's the other couple the black couple so jared he pro well yeah he proposed to mallory at first and the girl said no so then he went and proposed to ayana his second choice so that that's bad like you can't be in love with two people or can you or or maybe when you see them then you, your opinion will change and i don't know like i don't know and yes still even still after he met them i think he still likes mallory like it's more of his type or something alexa play jojo live get out <laughs> are you a godly man i don't know what that is look at their faces i think as a rule everyone should get to watch a compilation of their significant other acting a fool behind their backs before they get married i mean couples get together and all that but before that like they were interested like in this case shane you see the conversation they had very sexually intense conversations with shaina and then he would just go and tell natalie oh you're the love of my life and stuff like that i mean if she saw that i don't think he would even say yes to his proposal that guy i don't like him to be honest sheikh's mom checking him was she said she's an amazing person who doesn't deserve a half less mom's mama's holding sons accountable that's the kind of moms we want that's the kind of woman we want empowering other women the way shaina went from i don't know i do not have a vendetta against you in natalie's relationship to you and natalie's relationship is so fake it's comical she claims she's a christian and religious and all that but if you acting like this just because you like the man of someone else even after this couple met each other i don't know if she was trying to speak her truth if that was actually the case or she was just trying to pollute their relationship i think that's what she was trying to do which is quite a sneaky and bad thing to do when this come out on love is blind you know drama is about to go down i know i know those gold glasses i know when this gold cup uh, glasses come out it's about to go down nick breathes danielle i'm gonna i'm going to create an environment that is so toxic that's so true you know this girl she's self-sabotaging herself because she's insecure so she you know she has these fears that you know this is what's gonna happen and um because she can't live with that worry that something's gonna happen she rather creates the situation that will let this happen you know she's self-sabotaging herself so much because she's scared we all do that sometimes i do that so i'm scared that something's happening and in a way i create the, the situations that i'm scared of you know season two of love is blind with no contact red flags everywhere i have no idea what was going on here but it was the ick playing out in real time wearing costumes it's just weird that so i like to dress up like the girl was like mm, okay that's not weird at all but you are making toothpaste you know yourself like i mean everyone is weird in their own ways isn't it they are literally the same couple please tell me i'm not the only one that's so true shaina is jessica from the first love is blind she was like that she she likes a guy and then she didn't like her guy you know it was the same claiming that she was not feeling physical attraction but 
she wanted the other guy so she will go and talk to his girl and all that yeah she she was also religious you know but they're still doing some they are still doing some bad stuff you know just to separate others and that couple actually i think barrett and amba they're still together as well so win-win describe shame with one image the image that's so true like the guy there's something weird with his mouth i don't like him at all he's so creepy he, he creeps me out actually oh yeah oh that's it okay so that was it that was the video for today that was me reacting to some, to some funny memes uh, i'm gonna link the article down below that's where excuse my daughter she can't just sit still and let me do something you know like yeah so yeah that was the video for today i hope you liked it it was a bit something different yeah but i really like that show so i wanted to film this video and react to those memes which are which are very funny like i'm not on twitter but i feel like going back to twitter just to read all that but but yeah before i go don't forget to like subscribe and all the jazz and i will see you in a and I will see you in the next one very very soon. Bye! <sighs>